creating panorama images. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to create 360 degrees panorama images and put them together in a very impressive file to be sent to our clients and give them an amazing experience of our designs. To access panorama mood, we will press that panorama icon down here and that will take us to this page. It is exactly similar to photo creation page where we can move around like that, press store camera to take our first panorama shot image like that. The render presets that we have in photo creations is not accessible in the panorama mood, but we can add individual effects however we like. Or we can go to the photo creation mood and pick one of the styles that is applied to a photo. Go to menu, edit, copy effects. Then go to panorama mood, menu, edit, paste effects. And that will add all the effects and settings we have from the regular photo to the 360 degrees panorama photo. We can adjust the eye level and horizontal eye level tilt like that and have our main interest in the middle of the screen like that. We can render the 360 degrees panorama from that small icon here for each image or render the whole group of images using that green button on the right here. Either way, we will be taken to this page where we can set the output quality from here, use stereotopic for images that need 3D glasses and we have two options for target device generic device or gear VR if we are going to view them with VR googles and lastly down here we have two options for resolution medium and large and we have another tab called my Lumion that needs an internet connection to connect to Lumion servers so the renders gets uploaded to Lumion website but we will not use that option. We will use the 360 panorama option with medium quality, give it a location on the hard disk, give it a name and press save and let it render. Now Lumion renders patches like this and here is the end result. Press open folder and here is the 360 degree panorama image. To view this photo as a 360 and move around in it, we have many options. One of the best websites for 360 degrees panorama view is marzipano.net. We will go to marzipano.net slash tool and press start. And here we will drag and drop our panorama image like that. And now we can look around our image in 360 degrees like that we can go to the next step and add multiple 360 degrees panorama images in one file and move between them. To do that, let's get back to Lumion and take a couple of more photos around our main shot, like that. And now we have six shots. Let's paste the render settings effects to all of them like that. Now let's go on and render them all with medium quality like that and give them a name and wait for the render. After the all got rendered, we will press open folder and we have all those six panoramas rendered. Now let's get back to Marzipano and let's reload to start from 
Scratch. Press Start, select all the six panoramas and drag and drop them in the middle here like that and wait for them to be uploaded. Now that all the images has been uploaded to that project, let's choose our initial view and press set initial view and that will be the start view when we open the project. On the upper left here, we can control some settings like drag with the mouse or move with the keyboard, auto rotate, view control buttons and full screen button. Now here is the magical part. We are now inside Pano 1 and Pano 2 is the space under the terrace here. We can go on and press link hotspot. Move that hotspot to where our Pano 2 is located and select Pano 2. Now when we press that small icon up here, it takes us inside Pano 2. And here we can link a hotspot for Pano 3, the panorama inside the villa. And if we press the go icon, we are now inside Pano 3. Now inside Pano 3, we can add a hotspot for Pano 2 to get back outside like that. And we can add a hotspot for Pano 1 and go inside it. And from every panorama, we can add hotspots for the other panoramas around, so we can move between them at the end. And now we have many hotspots that can take us from one panorama to another, very beautifully. And now we can export that project from the website to external folder that we can download or send to our client. And he or she can watch it on any computer using Internet Explorer. Let's rename our project from here and name it Villa North Coast. Press export and we have this message saying that the zip archive generated and download should start now. Press OK and we have our project downloaded as a zip folder. Let's extract that folder, go inside it, we have license and readme file. And inside the folder, we have a folder called app files. Inside it, we will open index.html with Microsoft Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer will display a warning that it has an ActiveX script. We will press allow blocked content and there is our 360 degrees panorama project where we can move in 360 degrees and also go to the hotspots to access the other panorama images. Giving our clients a beautiful experience of moving around the villa.